What's going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog for my psoriasis journey. My name is Dan Bragg and today we're going to be talking about water. So water, we all drink it all the time. It's something that we can't live without. But what probably you never thought of is the different water or different brands or whatever has different stuff in the water. And I just came to realization very recently that whatever I was drinking before could be one of the reasons why psoriasis kicks in. And I've heard this from a few sources that drinking clean water, alkaline water might actually help. And I bought this brand, I don't know, it doesn't really matter what brand it is, but as long as it says alkaline, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, as long as it says alkaline water on the, on the bottle, that's already a good start because they balance the pH levels, they do something to it. I don't know the details, all I know is that it does better for uh, the internal system and therefore the psoriasis goes away. What I have noticed is that uh, when I go to the gym in the morning and I drink the water from the gym fountain, usually I get this weird, not heartburn, but not like chest burn, but more so it was kind of not feeling right. As soon as I drink this, everything is fine. And at first I thought, hey, maybe it's just I'm hungry, I didn't eat in the morning, so I went to the gym. Maybe it's just from that. Uh, and then you exercise, so it's all pressured. But as soon as I drink this water and I'm going to the gym, everything is fine. So that clicked in, I'm like, okay, the water that I'm drinking in the gym, something is not right there. Now, that doesn't mean that the water in the gym is bad, it just means that it's not clean water, it's not filtered water. Uh, even in our homes, it doesn't mean our water is filtered. And I'm here in Vancouver, Canada, and we have pretty clean water as it is, but still, there are things in the water that might not be good for our internal system. Drinking this water seems to really make a difference. Um, my psoriasis has been pretty much clear for the most part. If you see a little bit of my elbows, that's kind of the remainders. My face is for the most part clean. Maybe a little bit of left over here. If you look at the videos back maybe a month or two ago, like that's when I released the worst condition I've had in a, pretty much ever. But now it's all cleaned up again. And the things that I've been consistent on is pretty much maintaining that same kind of routine diet, which is pretty much clean food. No red meat, no dairy. Um, very, if you do do those things, just very low amounts. I'm talking under 30% of my week ever will I have those things. Um, I have introduced chocolate as of last uh, video that you saw and seems to not really affect me much. Dark ch chocolate specifically, so it's not as much milk, I guess. But I'm thinking of introducing the next thing very soon here. I haven't decided what it is, but a lot of things are important to me. But I'm almost considering red meat or dairy, one or the other. I wanna see which one will react. Uh, most likely it will be the dairy part because we have a lot of dairy around us all the time and I enjoy it. But that being said, uh, if you have any suggestions as well, I would like to hear them in the comments. If you have tried alkaline water or if you tried any other type of water, or maybe you installed a system in your home, let me know wh where you got it, where you did, because uh, this is the next step I'm planning to do. Thinking of getting a filter so I don't have to keep buying those bottles. They get pretty expensive over time. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you like this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.